Everybody. My name is Arissa and I would like to welcome you to the very first episode of Lofalder's Fake News Friday. In this program, we will discuss various news stories and then give you, the viewer, the chance to decide if they are fake or the absolute fabulous truth. Some stories are easier to identify than others. For example, this one. The police commissioner in South Africa, General Sitole, has promised the country that the SAPS is working around the clock to arrest listeriosis. It has come to my attention that there is a dangerous criminal killing people in our country. We have received too many complaints over the last couple of days about this person called listeriosis, and we will not sleep until he is arrested, the commissioner said. So what's the verdict? Fake or fabulous? You guessed it. That one is absolutely fake. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Our next story is a bit of a stinker. Let's see if you can identify it. A chef has created a burger that tastes of human flesh. The British chef, James Tomlinson, read late journalist William Seabrook's book, Jungle Ways, which describes human flesh as being like fully developed veal, not young, but not yet beef, as part of his research into cannibalism. This was to mark the fifth season of the Walking Dead zombie TV series. So, what's the verdict? Well, as gory as this story might sound, it is absolutely not fake. And now... For the final test of this week's episode, we bring you the following. A 19-year-old college student in Kenya purposefully infected 324 men with Human Immune Deficiency Virus, or HIV, in an act of revenge. Considering the era that we live in, and that so many young girls are affected by HIV, this story poses a threat. Is it fake or the absolute fabulous truth? This story is in fact fake. Join us again next time as we will identify more news stories, as well as give you some helpful tips on how to spot fake news on the internet. For more truthful news, Go to www.lofalder.co.za. Until next time.